Hey, welcome back! It's the Bard's birthday! And so, today I'm going to be talking about five things that you can do to celebrate Shakespeare's birthday, other than, obviously, read Shakespeare. One suggestion is to read something like Ian Dosher's Shakespeare's Star Wars, which is basically just taking the script of Star Wars and making it Shakespearean. It's hilarious. Not only does he convert the language and yet keep the feel of things, on page 26 Luke says, but unto Tashi Station I would go, and there obtain some power converters. Fie! But also, throughout this book and all of the sequels, he's done all of the films up through The Force Awakens, he uses traditional Shakespearean tropes and characters, and makes them fit within the context of the Star Wars world. It's beautiful, fantastic, and hilarious. Another great thing you can do, and share with your friends, is a Shakespeare insult generator. Shakespeare is known for being really quick with his tongue, and also really great at coming up with masterful insults. If you just look online and in a search engine type in Shakespeare insult generator, you'll come up with all kinds of great stuff. There are plenty out there that work great, and usually they involve taking several of Shakespeare's most poignant insulting phrases and spinning them together to make new insults. Fun to play with your friends. Another great thing you can read on Shakespeare's birthday, other than Shakespeare, is a book by Eric Didrikson called Pop Sonnets where basically he takes pop songs and converts them into Shakespearean sounding sonnets. It's so much fun and absolutely hilarious. The best is to listen to these sonnets and then try to identify what song they are. Conversely, you could do the same thing. Pick some of your favorite songs and try to convert them into sonnets. Here's an example. The game of love we intimately know, its laws and maxims mastered by our hearts. Thus I propose to be thine only bow, with passion that no other could impart. These feelings weighing heavy in my breast should in thy soul be similarly sown, and now they all are earnestly expressed, so that my vows are understood and known. Oh, never shall I vacate from thy side, nor ever shall I disappoint thee hence, nor will the day approach that wounded pride, shall faith from some unfaithful dalliance. My action leave thy faith unstained by tears, and ledgers of my lies shall remain clear. That Rick Astley is never going to give you up. You've just been Rickrolled. Or how about, This mountainside engulfed in snow untouched reveals the isolation I command. The icy storms that I once tightly clutched within my heart are blanketing the land. No longer could I heed my parents' will to hold my youthful hopes and fears at bay. So all have seen I've mastered winter's chill, my years of forced seclusion tossed away. The page hath now been turned. I'll break the chains that kept unrestrained my true identity. This queen will rule, but o'er her own domain, without a care for what they think of me. I'll not again the falling snow withhold, for I have ne'er been bothered by the cold. That's let it go. Pretty fantastic. Or how about play a great Shakespeare game? Those of you who are fans of the game Munchkin, there's even a version of Munchkin that's all about Shakespeare. There's a Shakespeare version of Cards Against Humanity. There's a Shakespeare version of pretty much everything. In fact, I was on vacation with my family over spring break, and the house that we were renting and staying in had a set of board games, and one of them was this Shakespeare game called The Plays the Thing. It was this cool old vintage game, and I had to order it online as soon as I got home. In it, you have to put on a play. When you collect enough cards to make a scene, then you have to perform it to get points. And finally, of course, my favorite thing to do on Shakespeare's birthday is read sonnets to everyone everywhere. There's nothing quite as wonderful as watching the face of the random person at Walmart that you stop and ask, may I read you a sonnet for Shakespeare's birthday? So go out and find something fun to do on Shakespeare's birthday and have a fantastic day. You can click to subscribe or to watch another video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.